village that, that you uh, were working with a, a Baptist minister, he oversees that program. And then we've been doing orphanage and village school remodeling. Um, we haven't done that um, uh, in a while, but we did that uh, in the beginning. You know, we built a school and we model orphanage and stuff like that. And the reason we haven't been doing that in a while because Vietnam economy is getting better. So orphanages, they got money from somewhere to, 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 to upgrade their facility, so we don't have to do that. Next, please. Our proposed project is 2020-2021 summer school program, and that's where we teach English, and we teach success skills for underprivileged children, and also ethnic minority children, and those that, I don't know, um, in Vietnamese school, we took, we took, you know, up in the mountain area. Next. So the reason why we focus on that, because we observe a phenomenon recently, and that is that Vietnam, like I said, Vietnam economy has been getting better. There's people have jobs. So the children that we used to give scholarship to, the parents now find jobs, and they go to the factory and they work. But the problem is those are low paying jobs. So they walk from morning till like 10, 11 o'clock at night. Parents leave the children at home. And then you got people who doesn't live in the city, they live in the village, and mom would travel to the city and walk for three or four months at a time. Mom and dad. And the children are left with their grandparents, who basically are too old to take care of them. In the summer, the children have no guidance they hang out on the street, they get into game, they get into trouble. They basically have no guidance because of the fact that, that their parents now can find jobs, but they're too little money, so they have to work so, so hard. So we find these children with no guidance, addicted to game, spoiled, and they're not like you guys. You guys are here in America. We have the values, the basic values. You, you know what is, you know, the values of volunteerism, the values of higher education. You go to college. They don't have any of that. So that's the problem that we see. And so we gotta do something about it. And what we wanted to do was get them, as many of them as possible, together in the summer to teach them. So at least they learn. Teach them English and open their eyes. Teach them how to be successful. Computer skill, presentation skill, how to work in team. Basically open their eyes to a different world. Say there's more to life than this village. So that hopefully we can give them guidance and give direction. And you can see that they get into drugs too. Next. Though, of course, they lack ethical values and the work of force skill. They don't have any communication, communication skills, which nowadays, you know, in the modern society in Vietnam, that's what they need. Of course, they, because of the way the education system is in Vietnam, which is based on memorization, they lack ability to think critically and problem solve. So we want to teach them all of that in our summer school. And I'd like to, Dr. Hidden is the board director overseeing the summer school for the ethnic minority children. So I'd like for him to talk a little bit about the children there and the problems that we see. Yeah, uh, thank you for having me and thank you for showing up to support us. But I just want to give you a little information about my connection to UT. Uh, I set up a high school program in Vietnam, uh, American high school program in Vietnam, but students study there and receive a UT diploma. But it has a, an extra phrase for high school program. So I help many Vietnamese students uh, in Vietnam receive UT diploma, okay? Uh, so I have many UT alumni uh, come from my school. <laughs> so that's, that's something to think about. Yeah, from the, from the Nami. Now, let me kind of get to the broad pictures about the problems of minority students, uh, minority people in Vietnam. 
These are the people who live in the mountains, the central highlands, or mountains all over Vietnam. And the majority of them live in places where the land are very, very poor, where the soil is very poor. And the Vietnamese, especially, they relocate to the central highlands to buy all the good land. And the ethnic minority people, they got very minor land, and they push further and further into the forest. And there's not enough land for them to do anything. And they have too many children. So, uh, when the children uh, grow up, they just don't have the land to cultivate and not enough land to do anything. So that's the first problem. So they went to severe economic problem because the, the king people or the Vietnamese people move into their forest, grab the best land, and they have no land to cultivate and they have too many children. And Vietnam is a small country. Next. The minority, ethnic minority people, they come from a very different culture. They're very, their culture is very primitive, and they don't speak Vietnamese. So if they want to move out into mainstream, they have to speak Vietnamese, read Vietnamese, and understand how to do mainstream people. Okay? That's what they need to do. And the government of Vietnam is supposed to do that kind of job, but the vast majority of government officials in Central Thailand, they just basically ignore the problems and let the kids go in there knowing no Vietnamese and in Vietnamese in school environment and get lost and they drop out like crazy. So, so the program, what we try to do here when it comes to the minority kids in Central Thailand, many of them growing up, have no job because the job their parents get used to, no longer there. And if they want to be integrated into mainstream, they don't have the type of skill, they don't have a minimum educational skill. And that's where we try to come in and say, somehow we gather you, we have to feed you because if we don't, if we don't feed them, their parents say, we don't have money to feed them. We have to take them to the mountains to do the work. And we want to go to school, but we cannot afford to feed them in school. So we have to provide breakfast and lunch for them to go to school. And in the evening, we need to get out. And so we go in there, we help them with Vietnamese like language school, character education, and math, because many of them. Conceptually, math is something that is strange to them. Okay? So we, we provide what we, could, we call remedial education. Uh, so when the fall comes, they go back to the Vietnamese front school, they're able to catch up. And we hope we can reduce the dropout rate from maybe 60 to 80% down to maybe 3 three. 30 to 40 percent in the villages that we help them. But other villages with nobody help them, and they have a problem with it. So that's basically the, 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 the major problem with the kids there. Okay? If you think in the US, we have a lot of um, children from Hispanic families. If they come here, their parents don't speak English. Most likely they grow up, they have more difficulty to adjust in life. But at least the school here care about them. Make sure that they can go to school, make sure that they catch up before they move up the grade. But in, in Vietnam, it doesn't happen like that. Um, so the for this particular project, we want to provide opportunity for children to gather to learn 